What's up, Texas wrestling fans? This is Jay Williams, your hashtag certified mark, and I'm here with one of the MPX super fans in a segment I like to call Marking Out with the Mark. Uh, super hopefully, fan. Yeah, yeah, super fan. Super fan. Oh, that uh, feels good. Hopefully, this is going to be an ongoing segment in which I can talk to other fans, but you know, we'll get into that in the outro. But for right now, I am with Hunter Hampton, king of MPX creations. And if you're an MPX addict, you definitely know who he is and what he does. He if, he, does if you don't, what is wrong with you? <laughs> he does some incredible stuff with the uh, WWE 2K games. And just, they are really, really awesome. So uh, thank you very much for coming on to the show. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, all right, so let's let's go ahead and get started. Like, like let's start at the beginning, I guess. Um, what got you into wrestling in the first place? Uh, it was uh, it was actually my uncle Scott who wrestles at MPX as the master of the DDT, Scott McKenzie. But he uh, took me to an independent show at one point, and mm -hmm. I just immediately fell in love. And this was before Scott was wrestling. He wasn't even training yet. He was, <laughs> he was still in high school. And going from there, it's like, I, I, it, is he the one who got you to, into MPX itself? Uh, yes. Uh, to be honest, my first ever uh, creation that was MPX related was mm -hmm. Scott back when he was the angel of death. I saw that gimmick. I was like, admittedly, I'm still fairly new to MPX compared to others. But uh, yeah, I've seen that gimmick, and that was actually a pretty cool one. Myself. Well, to be honest, so am I. I'm still kind of a new fan, but now I am known as the king of MPX creations. Absolutely. Follow my Facebook page. I'll put a link in the doobly doo. <laughs> Uh, okay, and so it's like getting into that, you know, you said Scott was your first one. Is, you know, what got you into just doing the MPX wrestlers in general for these? Well, they're my, they're the only promotion I actually go to. So I am a loyal guy to my wrestling promotions yeah. and he's, the, they're the only ones I go to. So yeah. there we go. Okay, and it's like uh, well, we've talked before about the cons consideration of possibly doing others uh, on a special occasion, maybe somebody who's a special guest, but you know, that's, that's of course all up to you. Uh, for, people, for people who don't know, I actually did part of Dot Mob. Other than that, um, so how, how long does it normally take you to do these? It depends on how much work it has to be done. Like for, uh, for example, my newest creation that I just put on Xbox uh, Community Creations, uh, CJ Ward, mm -hmm. he only took about an hour because he only had two textures, his face and his trunks design. Mm -hmm. And the moveset and all that is fairly simple. Okay. Um, and it's like, I've, I've seen you do things from, uh, it's like you have this really incredible version of Hardakis who, if you haven't heard, actually got injured, so get well soon, Hardakis. Uh, Sorry, buddy. But... You know, saw that that incredible one, and you actually even changed the color palette depending on what color he's using at that time. Um, it's like, it, what do you typically do for these? I mean, it's like I, I, I'm used to the uh, when it comes to creator wrestlers, I'm used to the old SmackDown games from yeah, like yeah, me too. PS1 days. Oh, so, those ones. I still, yeah, I still got my SmackDown versus Raw 2011 one actually. Yeah, no, no, I'm talking SmackDown. Know your role, uh, you know, back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it was like you know that one, but with the new system, I. I I've tried it, and I just tried to make something that was a, a facsimile of myself, because who doesn't want to be in the ring? I, uh, I did myself. Yeah, it's like, but it, it looked embarrassingly bad. How are you able to, what do you do to get these so spot on? A lot of time and effort. Like, uh, while I was in high school, I was doing, uh, I was doing video and audio, and on the side, I just did uh, Photoshop and stuff, so I got really good at that, and that's how I do it. Okay. So, okay, um, quick question. Of, uh, which one was your favorite to do? My favorite? Your favorite. I mean, more than Ooh. just the fact that, you know, you did your, cousin, your uh, uncle. Right. But, you know, it was like, just w which one was the most fun for you to work on? It has to be a toss-up between Hardakis and Malico. Really? Yeah. Those seemed like they would be the most complicated to do. That's why they're my favorite, because they were the most complicated. Okay. That works out really well. I mean, but, and I've seen them both. I'll actually use their pictures up here, and they looked really, really good. Yeah, the most complicated ones are the best ones that I think I've ever done, and the ones that are my favorite. And you do really good work, either way. Um, 
So, and of course, you know, it's like with as much talent in this as you have, uh, are you are you doing graphic design outside of this as well? Are you, you know, taking your skills elsewhere? Uh, at the moment, I am not, but I have done uh, logos for The Solution, Dave Sagan, and uh, my Uncle Scott. The hand symbol that Dave has, I did. So there you go. It's like, obviously this guy is a, this is a dedicated addict. And when I say super fan, I really do mean it. And just obviously, you know, it's like really good work. And Thank you. I'm, it's great learning all of this stuff. And, 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 and man, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm honored to be here. That's, that's the number Thank one Thank you very thing. much. I, I appreciate that. I mean, it's, I want to oh, really... one, one more thing. For uh, wrestlers who actually watch this video, hit me up. I will do logos for you. Well, you know, you can turn this into a bit of a business in and of itself. You've seen the success of guys like John McConley. Uh, there are other, you know, graphics designers who do cards and symbols and things like that. Right. They do really great work, and some of them get paid really well for it. So, you know, definitely keep that in mind. And guys, keep him in mind. He's, you know, good work, obviously. So, uh, if you see my stuff, you'd understand. Absolutely. And, well, again, thank you very much for coming on. I think we'll, you know, go ahead and wrap it up here. And, uh, well, keep it kayfabe, wrestling fans. Mark out.